And yeah. I think people are probably tired after the first day of really. Well, and what a first day that was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So tell us your story. <laughs> well, it was you know, cool. <laughs> yeah. Mine actually didn't end up being so bad. Mine was only out for about an hour. Yeah. Um, and my kids, like they just did their seesaw activities whoever yeah. could and then at the start of the next block it was good again so my interruptions were pretty minimal okay yeah mine was the same like the first the first block was a bit of a gong show because I had everyone up and running because my two kids are obviously here too right yes. so I had everyone up and running and then all of a sudden it was just like one by one everyone's devices went down <laughs> and so I could hear like chaos in the other rooms and like my mom's here kind of helping out and so and then all of a sudden mine goes down I'm like oh, that's what's happening. Like the, mm -hmm. the whole house just like went to, to, you know, poo. And then, so I just, but it's not the first time that's happened to us virtually. So I just told my class what's going on. Like I was luckily mm -hmm. still on Google meet. I just couldn't get on like anything else. Okay. Um, and I just said early recess and like they were jazz and like mm -hmm. they, they, you know, they're just so good. They roll with the flow and I was like, finish what you're doing and off you go. And they're like, sweet. We didn't even have to cash any dojo points for this. And I was like, no, it's a freebie. Like, you know? <laughs> like a snow day. Yeah. yeah. And then I said, please go outside if you can. And like, you know, and then, um, and then by the time we got back, my kids were back up and I was back up. And then other than a bit of buffering and slowness, like it was, it was mm -hmm. fine after that, but yeah. I did kind of want to pull the slow internet card though and just be like, oh, it's not working. Mm, bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <Exactly. laughs> so yeah, it was, it was mm -hmm. fine. I thought at first though, like after that first block, I was like, oh God, this is going to be the longest day ever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so especially for people who were brand new to it and had. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like I'm raring to go. It. And yeah. yeah. And was it probably, yeah. was it sure if it was them or the kids or what? Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, remember that happened to us at the beginning of the year, Carla. And yeah. it, was it was like the best day of virtual teaching. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like the whole system crashed, but it sucked because we were still so fresh. We couldn't even like use the day to plan. Like, well, I think we right. did, we did use it to plan. And then a week later, like kiboshed all those everything. Things. Yeah. Like we yeah. made all these games <laughs> and we were like, that's not going to work. And then yeah. we we're like, cool. What a wasted day. Versus yeah. now, if you gave me that day, I could do so much with it. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. I have a question about, Kate, we were talking about the math manipulatives and I was like, mm -hmm. oh, mathies, like use that, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. They don't work on my iPad anymore because of the flash. Mm -hmm. So what do you do instead? Like they're fine on the computer. Yeah, there's a toy theater or there's the math learning center. Mm -hmm. um, the math okay. learning center ones are pretty good, I think. Yeah, yeah. they are my favorite. And okay. we use Seesaw. So Seesaw has like base tens in there. It yeah. has, all you got to do is drag and drop a 10 frame, like everything. Okay. Use Seesaw for a I knew there was a new one. I just couldn't remember. So the Learning Math Center is the one you like, Kate? Yeah, it's called Clarity Innovations. But like okay. the math used to work on my iPad. You have to download all the apps for them. So individual. Yeah. yeah. So if you, you try do. to just go to Mathies mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. use it mm -hmm. on a computer, mm -hmm. you can. But if you're on your iPad, it says like you're going to flash and you get in this mm -hmm. infinite loop. But the Math Learning Center is the same. If you try and if you go and use it on the web app, you don't have as many capabilities as you do. It will say opens best in the app. Okay, so then it just you can open it, but like sometimes I'm missing the whole bottom menu, which is like everything, every tool. Okay. Yeah. So, so from you do a need teacher to jump, perspective, yeah. if you're on a computer, you can show all those things, but it's the kids trying to use the app if they're yeah. on an iPad that mm -hmm. that's the issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. They're just nice so, teaching tools if you need something to show a concept, right? Yes. So Carla, I heard you rescued a friend of ours yesterday from her Google Meet. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> he was like, so I, I, I have evidence that it, she was successfully able to get onto a Google Meet today. Um, I'm is there an animal in that evidence? Yes, there is. Did you I get the same text? got the same evidence. <laughs> oh. Who are you guys talking about? I know. I want to know. I'll see. Can you see? Who is that? No, I can't see. Oh, the the snake? It's like it's a snake. Six foot long. Snake. Oh my. So the teacher was like having trouble with her Google uh, Google Meet yesterday. And so 
sent me so she, today she sent me a picture and I'm like, well, her Google Meet works. That's what I thought she would see me. And she's like, nope, a kid shows up with a snake around his neck today. Creepy. Or yesterday. Oh boy. <laughs> so creepy. Mm -hmm. So her attendance is good. 15 cats and a bunch of dogs. So <laughs> yeah. Shoot. It is fun to show pets. I'm oh, sure that gets I, we've old. We've done that. We've I know. Done a, I'm sure show your pet day and like, yeah. yeah. But today, yeah. Sam, you could have showed your pet because you're at home. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cash. Uh, they've seen Cash. Yes. Yeah. I, showed so. them, I showed them my dog today, and they were all like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> and then one of them today was like, "Wait, are you at home?" And I was like, "What have you been doing for two days?" <laughs> <laughs> But for, for them, like when I started talking on Monday about like the change in the province, like some of them didn't know because they've been online all along, right? Right. Yeah. So today when I was like, oh, like the world's coming crashing down and, the, and you know, the school world and, and I was like, like they didn't even like, what do you mean? Like yeah. everybody just been <laughs> online? And I'm like, no, not everybody has been online. Yeah. Right. Hey, Alicia. Hi, friends. How are Hello. you? How are you? What was your kindergarten session? Uh, it was good. It was good. Kindergarten, they're like easy. They show and, up. <laughs> they show up. Like yeah. that is just an unwritten rule. So yeah. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. But how was everyone's day? I bet you they had lots of stories. Connect. Um, they were super yes. they were quiet, <laughs> but um we had one teacher, Lisa, who uh, like had all these great, great things to share. She was really excited, so that was good. But good. yeah, Sam and Carla, how's it going? Oh, it's it's going. I just say, Olivia was having her first day of virtual learning today, um, and she has been jazzed for a week. So like <laughs> every day, asking when it's starting. She had her desk set up days ago. She's been mm. pestering for her own Chromebook. She's got like this box and she, in the box, she put like papers and markers and, oh. and pencils. And she got it like, you should have seen it. She reorganized the box like eight times mm -hmm. and like, she was loving it. And then after about, I don't know, two hours today, an hour, she was rolling around on the floor and she's like, man, this is <laughs> not what it's cracked up to be. And I was like, mm -hmm. I kept trying to tell you this, but you were adamant it was going to be the greatest thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> and my mom was like, yeah, like she was just not into it. She was like roaming the house and like, just not at one point they were counting their fingers and Liv was just like, okay, five, moving on. Like she's just <laughs> not, not loving yeah. it. <laughs> so not it is no, what it is for everyone yeah it's not no no and even it's Vanessa who like can stare at a screen just fine like she after lunch was like meh not mm. yeah, not into it I feel like it's a build-up you have to like build your stamina up to be able to sit here all day for absolutely like, yeah. when we first started remember we were like oh my gosh we're online for so long yeah and now I feel like there's not enough minutes in the day to like do everything yeah. that we need to I run out of time for everything now and before it's like okay more DPA <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, one of my friends said that her she was her kids in kindergarten and she was watching him do his online school today. And she was like, oh my gosh, it's like the best thing to watch because I've never got to see him be a student before. She mm -hmm. was like, I was like cheering up, watching him sit there and raising his hand. And it was so sweet. So <laughs> that's a win. And then you're like, as a mom, over it, over it. <laughs> Just, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was watching Liv and I'm like, go back to school. <laughs> but no, it was good. Okay, well, I just wanted to pop in and say hello and see what was good happening in your worlds but my yeah. children need me so I will okay you later, later. Bye, Alicia. thanks for popping in okay. cool so we've got a couple welcome the couple that have joined us we know you've had a busy day at school um if you have questions we're here to answer them Kate's leading the has a slideshow, but if we do our numbers here, we can go right for you. Okay. Um, let's see where we're at. 
We do have a little slideshow here. I don't know if we want to start with this or do we just want to start with sort of a discussion? Maybe I'll just slip yeah. to this slide here that says, how did it go? There you go. So um, in our session today, we have a couple of virtual teachers. We have Sam Van Hooft and Carla Hager. And actually I think Rebecca is here too, um, who um, has just recently joined the remote school. Um, and then Pam and I are running the session here today. And running so or hosting? Hosting. <laughs> running yeah. and hosting. Yeah. You guys are We're running hosting. with your ideas. Yeah. Um, so you're welcome to use the chat or um, just come on mic and let us know how it's going. Mm -hmm. I think people are either just finishing up their day or figuring out how much screen time they can actually handle in one day. So Samantha and Carla, both of you guys, this is like return to your virtual school world. So it wasn't super different for you, but Sam, I thought your little story you were sharing earlier about your kids were surprised that it was like brand new learning for kids that are face-to-face -face schools. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's just a whole, I don't know. It's yeah, for Carla and I, it's, this is just same old, same old. Like we've been doing this in September. So mm -hmm. for us, we just rolled out Monday morning and, you know, kept with it. But it was funny to talk to my students when they, well, number one, realized that the rest of the province was online too. So they were kind of like, what? Like, and then I blamed them for crashing our system today. I said, <laughs> it's just because everyone's jumping on the online right. bangwagon. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, <laughs> so if you could all just go back to your classes and leave me back with my Google, that'd be great. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but then too, like my kids, like it was a big transition for them because they've known that I teach online all year and they've thought it was the coolest thing and then they actually did it today. So, so it was, yeah, it was a, it was a day. Children. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of like when they see the bus and they think it's so cool to ride the bus until yeah. they have to ride it every day. And they hate it. <laughs> and they're like, yeah. not so fun anymore. Yeah, exactly. no, it's not, this is not as cool as you made it out to be mom. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's just a job. It's mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and Carly, you were one of the people that lost some Wi-Fi connectivity today, so your day kind of stopped for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we had an extra long little lunch, longer than usual, and then I was lucky that when we came back on, it was just working again because I don't, I don't think that everyone was that lucky. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So your scheduled seesaw activities probably saved you a little bit of uh, they, worry time and. They did, although I'm, I will be interested to see how their math went without much of a lesson to go with it. Which, like, <laughs> I took a lot, most of my lessons, so we'll see. Yeah. What, well, what consider that it. Consider that a diagnostic then. You yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. Well, Carla and I plan a lot together. Well, everything mm -hmm. together, and um, let me tell you, it went rough on our end. So <laughs> heads up. <laughs> <laughs> maybe redo that one tomorrow may you want to backtrack yeah <laughs> <There> you <go. laughs> but you should tell them Carla how you actually had one of your kids present the DBA oh um, yeah so I was at my Google Meet was working for a bit and I couldn't nothing else would load and I couldn't get anything fresh up so I was just kind of on there doing nothing with this screen of kids and I was thinking I said oh I wish we could do a DPA but I, I really can't get anything to load and one of the kids was like, I could share my screen and do a DPA. <laughs> I was like, okay. So Amazing. she pulled up, she's like, I have Go Noodle. So she pulled up Go Noodle and picked a video <laughs> and shared it. And it was like, I, I couldn't see much of it. They were all little black boxes because my internet was so bad, but they, yeah. they, they thought it was the best thing ever. And it was funny that they could just continue a lot of stuff on their own. Does, uh, do yeah. most of your kids know how to screen share? Yeah, yeah they all do. And they, they like love doing it. And it's been really handy when they need help with a question, mm -hmm. um, a screen share, and we just kind of work through it together. So but, they just uh, magically know how to do that screen uh, share. I was just <laughs> going to say that took months. So well, okay. for anyone new, do not feel <laughs> it like. Was, it was a learning process too, because a few of my yeah. kids have their iPads set up in Mandarin. So they would screen share and trying to get like access when they were trying to add photos to Seesaw, it wasn't set up on their iPad to do that. So they were screen sharing and we were trying to figure out how to do it, but all of their settings were in Mandarin. So we got through it eventually, but it, it wasn't. Wow, wow. 
<laughs> yeah, it's amazing. And I, I thought it was going to be so good. As soon as I showed her how to screen share, I was like, this is going to be so easy. And then she got it. And I was like, yes. And then it was loading and it came up in Mandarin. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> left turn yeah. Yeah. well I find like those kids that figure out how to screen share first or like the run the DPA for you like okay let's flash forward 20 years and you're probably a teacher in LKDSB well yeah. her, her dad is a tech he's like an IT tech person so I'm not surprised she was the one to be able to think of it and do it yeah and yeah. Uh, then someone was sharing yesterday about um like the seesaw, the importance of knowing how to have your seesaw activities scheduled so they're not all like dumped in yeah. and then because some of them kids complete them all at once and then like now what? Yeah. That was a big thing I learned in September too. I had yeah. one boy who completed everything and I was like stop doing that so <laughs> I, yeah, I had to. Yeah, if you schedule. were in, the, in a face-to-face -face classroom, they'd be, you know, standing beside you, like with a piece of paper in front of their. Yeah. 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 Good. Um. Okay, so I think we've covered that topic. Yeah. Hi, Rebecca. Hi. How's it going, everyone? Yeah. Good. How are you? Good. I'm working from home right now, so. Yes. Going good. Yeah. Sorry, and just... How was your internet today? Um, I got logged off twice and then half my class the internet wasn't working so I just kind of winged it for the afternoon but what can you do <laughs> yeah that's what you do yeah good with yeah. your slide Kate being flexible I know exactly so that's there we go that's okay. the idea there this is yeah. kind of what we shared yesterday um yeah, when just Kate and I were hand. talking I'm like we need to keep these four things up here because we're just going to go deeper here about the uh being flexible part because <laughs> you know what we probably had to do that again today mm -hmm. yeah exactly and like, if um, you connected Kate did you did you mean for that to be to the internet maybe <laughs> clever I know yeah. of course we adjusted it quickly last minute after the crash today. <laughs> Um, so these were some of the things we shared yesterday about being flexible, going slow, that things take longer. I can't read them all because um, you guys are hiding from, from oh, the I screen. Think. It's okay to deviate from the plan. Curriculum coverage will not be the same remotely. I'm sure you guys can attest to that. Yeah. Take time to solve tech issues and teach the skills like screen sharing, which was very handy today. <clears throat> Although I don't think you would start with that one. What would be your like top three skills you wish your kids would know? Mute yourself. You. <laughs> okay. You yeah. and um, how to leave and come back when they can't mm -hmm. do that. Like yeah. if they get kicked out of the meet, you mean? No, sometimes I'm not sure, like it's just a glitch with Google Meet. Sometimes you're talking and one kid out of the whole group just can't hear anything anymore. Yeah. Um, so we found if you just leave and come back, it seems to fix the problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, that's good. Oh, so that's new. So I yeah. thought it's just like you're gonna get booted out, but sometimes you're there, but just can't hear. Well, and especially because then I'm trying to tell them, just leave and come back, just leave and come back, but they can't hear me. So they just, they just keep talking. They're like, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. So that, so teaching them like, okay, I see what you're saying. To yeah. just know to do that when they're having trouble. Yeah. Or problem, to um, like problem solve. Or to find the chat box. So sometimes yeah. it's just right in there and they don't, they don't like know where the chat box is right away. Right. Mm -hmm. Especially on an iPad. It's not very obvious. Yeah. It's hard to right. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. like in call messages. It doesn't even say chat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so mute, um, come out, go out and come back in and chat box. Yeah. Okay. It makes me think about that hint we shared yesterday that came from kindergartens about having those symbols ready, like, you know, the little signs of like mute yourself or, but even a card that says, if you can't hear me, leave the meeting and come back in. Mm -hmm. like, so they, because they can't hear you say that, but you could show them that. I just had a thought, my daughter, so she's in kindergarten and her, I saw her teacher using the symbols today. Um, I, I almost wanted to say I didn't because I didn't want to interrupt, but I also want to say like her picture, it was like on a piece of white paper and it was very faint and she like flashed it real quick. 
And so I want to be like, go over it in like a Sharpie or something. Make it like mm -hmm. stand out because it looks different when you hold it up to a screen. Right? Yeah. Especially if it's just a white piece of paper. So yes. like add color or something to it if you're going to use those symbols too. Because yeah. it doesn't the look one the I same. Felt actually were like the red and the green mute symbols. Yes. Like, yeah. Green paper with, so it was just actually that. But I never thought about that. But the go slow is just like show the symbol slowly. Yeah, don't rush. She just flipped it up and flipped it down. And I was like, I knew what she was doing. But <laughs> some of them, you know, my mom was like, she flipped. My mom was helping them. She flipped a paper. And I was like, so she was showing a symbol, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Good to know. Mm -hmm. um, I think also, too. I was going to say something about the chat box. I feel like from what I saw the last couple of days at the chat box, like the, if they find it, it's like, it's like, oh. ah, right. And then they're just going wild and then they forget everything else that's going on. Mm -hmm. and so then I don't know how much time you let them do that. And then you're like, okay, that's, we're done with that. So there is a new feature on Google meet where it's new this year. You can turn the chat box off. I saw that, but then when I was with you guys that week, I felt like everybody had their chat on. Yeah. Almost everybody did. Yeah. So you've obviously, yeah, you've embedded like some norms there, right? Mm -hmm. And they kind of like, it's just like anything in the class. Mm -hmm. Like they'll, mm -hmm. they'll get bored of it soon. And mm -hmm. if they do, it's just like, just in the class, you just say, okay, guys, remember this chat's just for, for learning purposes or like mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. it's a quick reminder and then they'll, they're pretty good. They'll stop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So okay. Carla, just to clarify that the chat on and off is new. Can, if you're in a meeting, can you on and off it many yeah. times throughout the meeting? Yeah. So it might be like, you're paying attention to me, cameras on, no chat, mute. Yeah. And then, okay, now you can talk to your neighbor or whatever, just talk mm -hmm. and then, and open up the chat that way. Okay, yeah. that's good. Okay, so those skills are obviously helpful. And then, like you said today, you guys had lots of extra DPA, extra mm -hmm. lunch, just when, you know, something ends early. Yep, yeah, let's mm -hmm. take an extra five minutes. I'm sure they enjoy all of those kinds of things that pop up. Yeah. Sam, you said something earlier about you, your kids, some of them went outside uh, <clears throat> or DPA. Is that something that you often have them do or is that something? I try and talk to them probably every day about going outside. Like even my kids today on recess, I'm like, out you go, it's recess. Um, but like my online class, I, I encourage them if they can, because some of them say, oh, my mom will let me uh, until she gets home from work or something. And that's, you know, that's obviously fair. Um, but I say like, this is a recess like it is at school. So um, go outside, play around, do whatever. And um, sometimes we've had Carla and I have planned like some scavenger hunts for them and stuff to go and do and like just to get outside and go go do something other than especially yes. on the days where it like gets a big snowfall and they're so excited. Yeah. Yes. They love them. Yeah. yeah. But it is so important to know, understand the family dynamics and the safety, yeah. like, you know, yeah. my own backyard kind of thing or yeah. my. And a few of my kids live in apartments, so they, they're not going to go outside for like their 10 yeah. minute break. Yeah. Um, right. <laughs> but that's the thing though we've learned to say too, like if, if it's okay with mom or dad, like, cause we're in their living room. Right. So yes. in class, mm -hmm. it's like, no, I would you go see you later. But it's, <laughs> it's different when you're in their living room and, and like, Oh, well, my Nana says I can't. Okay. Well, I'm not going to go against what yeah, Nana yes. says. Like and you're not supervising. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it's just yeah. really mindfully saying like, if you can, like, please try or whatever. So. And sometimes we say, if not, we'll stay in here and do like a little yoga video or a little bit like movement of some mm. kind. So speaking of that, where do you get things like your yoga video and um, little breaks ideas? Um, we find a lot of them just on YouTube or a lot of the Go Noodle ones for quick little short stints, but YouTube has so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Go Noodle, YouTube. Um, we one time had a little guest uh, yoga instructor in, which was fun. So both of our classes joined one meet together and did a yoga class. It was, uh, it was pretty neat. Yeah. Cute. I think our face-to-face -face school teachers have also have a phys ed, often have a phys ed curriculum partner. So yeah. they'll be, you know, that will be different than your environment too, right? So uh, I know we've been hearing from our curriculum partners about how to break this up and 
um, having those multiple DPA breaks throughout the day is really important too. Yeah, like we teach our own phys ed, our, our prep is only French. Um, so we, we have to, we throw in DPA like all throughout the day at all times. So yeah, it's a little bit different, but we have made some time to have like some legit like yoga classes and things like that too. Mm -hmm. But um, mm -hmm. yeah. Not something you can do every day though. Yeah. No, no, no. We do so, do DPA though every day, like all yeah. through the day, like yep. spaced out every so often. Yeah. Yeah. It Rebecca, does end up being... I see you nodding there too. Do you have uh, your experience with DPA or? Yeah, especially for today. I've just had <laughs> like for who could have connection, I just did a constant DPA throughout the day just to get moving. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I do like the um, for the yoga one. I've been doing the cosmic kids on YouTube. Um, yeah. But just exploring with like go noodle. Um, yeah, just exploring all of them, but yeah. I can attest that when I was in the same room as Rebecca, when I was with their school, oh. <laughs> she was like singing and doing it all too. Like it was, she was right into it. Right. And that's how you have to be if you want your kids to do it. Right. Yeah. And I had a whole room to myself. It's very, uh, kind of <laughs> have a small room right now. So it's oh. kind of hard to do it with the kids, but yeah. do what you can, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. You bring enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. to a DPA song and I looked out my window and thought if anyone walked by <laughs> 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 yeah. what the heck? Mm, I'm sure that everyone's in the same boat yeah so we talked a little bit about um, being flexible obviously today more than other days and mm -hmm. then um, setting some expectations especially with that tech piece um, I think there was something else we meant to mention about that setting expectation Pam and I'm drawing a blank from our earlier conversation yeah, I think it's more about like the courtesy piece, the respect of others, like, uh, like we do so much work on that in September in our classrooms when it's a face to face environment. So classrooms where we're, you know, creating that virtual space to learn, we have to work on that setting expectations and that can be like the, the game gamification of it, like, you know, the mute and unmute, you know, the, there's some games that people may have learned to do with that or um, you know, we talk about setting expectations for um, being able to communicate. Well, we have to teach them what tools you can to have available to communicate. With you. So, you know, like it's setting that expectations in our classroom. We often say like, I need to work hard on that in September for the rest of the year to go well. So it's setting the set, new set of expectations now in the virtual world. Like it's something we have to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. Especially I, the mute and unmute part, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had a cool game I saw one of my kids teachers doing today and just it connected with what you're just saying. So I thought I'd share it. Yeah. It's uh, like Simon says with your mute and camera button. And so they're like, you turn off your camera and you turn off your mic. And it's like Simon said, or if you have a brother, turn your camera on. If you have a dog, turn your camera on. And so like they all like race. Like I was watching my daughter and she's like, I have one. And she'd like race and put it on and then you got to turn it off. And then like race and put it on and turn it off. So it was fun because they were moving. Yeah. They were listening. They were practicing those, those online skills, but it was like fun instead of just sitting saying, okay, make yeah. sure you turn on your mic, you know, like. Yes. So. Yeah. That it's is fun. so fun. Yeah. What it was, great it idea. was cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can, you know, add the chat, chat element into that too. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And it gets them so familiar with um, all the tools. Mm -hmm. yeah well, she was a whiz yeah. by the end of it like she knew where everything was and she was yeah. just yeah yeah it was cool. awesome yeah mm -hmm. it is amazing how quick they pick up on things I was looking at my own son today and he was on an iPad so of course when he clicked off he was like oh my gosh I can't get back to the meet <laughs> but he can he could hear we could hear it so we knew we were still connected and then anyway I had to show him how to go back but then he was you show them once and they're good to go right mm -hmm. yeah hopefully I have a bit I have a quick question just regarding uh, for Sam and Carla, for your attendance, um, how do you do your attendance in the morning? Like, do you say the ch uh, kids' names or do you just know them automatically and just do it through Aspen? I, uh, Carla and I do it differently. So I always hear, I always, I teach near Carla, so I always hear her yeah. say the name. I just okay. do a quick, while we're doing the morning announcements in O Canada, I usually just take a look on the screen and do oh, a okay. quick check because Sometimes I feel like if I say through the names, yeah. then they got to tell me a story. And then I'm like, oh, okay, I know. Like, let's, let's get moving. Yeah. But Carla, I think you do it differently, right? Yeah. I just say I have my iPad up and I, I feel like I know who's there because 
kind yeah. of it's quite small, but I, I just say good morning and call their name. So I oh, okay. tell them all to sit, stay on mute. I say, good morning, Sam. Good morning, Kate. Good morning, Pam. Good morning. Oh, Rebecca's not here. And I. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been trying to, I've been kind of playing around with it, but I'll get the hang of it eventually. But yeah. <laughs> all little time saving tips, right? Yes, totally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Usually so, I wait until I get the email that says I'm late. I know. <laughs> I was just going to say that. I was like, if I remember to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I wonder if I would use the grid function, like, you know, in the Google, you can slide the, how many people are in the grid and I might actually just get used to seeing like, this is yeah. what it looks like. You know, well, like, I usually see, it tells you how many people are in there in the top mm -hmm. corner. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, that it, good it, place to start. <laughs> it turned into a fun game for my kids when they could see there was 20 people in the meeting, but three of them were me on a device. So how many <laughs> people are actually in there? <laughs> yeah. Good math. Yeah. It's kind of like in where class. you can. Yeah. I know. When you look and you're like, whose empty desk is that one? Yeah. <laughs> you know. Um Okay, so I wonder if maybe this is a good time for somebody, maybe Sam, I see you're in here twice, so it might be easier for you. If you want to share your screen, just to give people an idea about how you sort of organize your day and how the kids sort of follow your plan for the day. For Would sure, that be all right? Yeah. Okay, so I'll yeah. stop sharing. Absolutely. Just because I'm, I'm looking at the time and it's 3.30 already, so. I'm used to Google Meet, so I need a second to remember how to share my screen on Zoom. Yeah, every virtual teacher has said that. It's, so. and it's a thing. It's a total thing. <laughs> yeah. How on earth do I do it again? Where is it? Oh, share on screen. the bottom. Bottom. Mm. Share okay. screen. It's green. Yeah. Rod would be ashamed of me. <laughs> Never. Okay. All right. So this is kind of what my day. This is Carla and I's look, day looks very similar. So, so you use slides, obviously. We use slides for everything for our, like, our entire day is laid out in slides and then our activities are in Seesaw. Um, we also have access to each other's slides. So like I plan the math, I plop it in her slides, she plans the language, she pops it in my slides. Like, so we've kept them really similar so that it's, it's like really easy to flow. Um, so I always start with like the date and then I start with like my, um, there's our, our plan for the first block. Um, and then everything I try to hyperlink so that it just keeps things a little more organized. Not necessary. I just, that's just something after now doing this for a while, I figured out helps me. So like when you're I, in present mode or, Oh, I'm not in present mode right now. No, no, I know. But do you do it in present mode? And so if I'm in present mode, I just click escape, go back to the screen and click the link so that oh, it brings okay. me right to it. Yeah. Sure, sure. So this so is like, go ahead. Can you, uh, what do you mean by hyperlink? Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah. So this okay. is um, our morning meeting. Um, we have like time Tuesdays, Monday, Mondays, that kind of thing. So this is linked to a Jamboard. So when I click it, it'll go to my Jamboard down here. Um, and then it brings me right into my Jamboard um, for you guys to see. So I can show you how to do that. So I just kind of have a, a picture in my slides here. And when I mm -hmm. go to insert, you guys are seeing this all okay, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I go to insert and I go to link and I just copy and paste the link from my Jamboard right there. Um, and again, not necessary. You can just tab over to your Jamboard. I just find it, especially if you have a supply teacher in, it's super handy just because everything's mm -hmm. kind of laid out that way. Mm -hmm. And um, if you could show them, I don't think a lot of people have used Jamboard. Maybe you could show them like how you can write on a Jamboard. Yeah, okay. Um, so here's my Jamboard. So like this was our, um, lesson today. I, my kids had my iPad, so I couldn't use my pencil. So don't mind my childlike writing here. <laughs> but um, so we like drew that you drew the hands on the clock and then we counter on the clock and we use all these tools on the side here. So there's the pen and you can change the, like this type of pen, you can change the colors. There's the eraser tool, there's a sticky pad tool. So you can add little sticky pads on it. Um, there's like text, so you can just click on your screen and start typing and then you just drag and drop anything or drag and, and resize anything you want to type. Um, and then obviously like other functions like there's shapes here and there's paragraph formatting tools and things like that. So we just, for example, here's my morning meetings for like the week. So here's Tuesday, here's Wednesday, here's Thursday. Oh, bonus, there's Thursday. Um, 
and so we, yeah, we just kind of work through it every day and we write, we write the kids thinking right, right on the, the jam board. So um, Sam, yep. let me pause you for a minute. So yep. um, you're using slides and jam board. I feel yeah. like they're and similar use, and yeah. yet kind of different. So what are the benefits of jam? So if I, hold on, I'm gonna go back to our slides here. I'm gonna pull up my number talk. So if you see down my side, I have my announcements. I have my DPA, I have a number talk, and again, it's embedded. So I'm gonna just click on it and I'm gonna bring it up. This is one of the reasons I love Jam. I teach all of my math on Jamboard because um, it's super interactive. So instead of like on Jamboard, I can, I have a Apple pencil, but you could use any stylus um, and you don't have to, you can just use your mouse, but that's when you get that scribbly writing like you saw mm -hmm. I had. Um, you can write like instantly anywhere. You can make any number line. You can add to it and erase it. It's just like a super, it's like a, a whiteboard in your classroom. Right. It's exactly yeah. what it's like. So um, a little more user friendly with the tools right there. Way oh, more user friendly. Yeah. Right. Right on. Yep. Yep. I'll pull up the pencil. Um, so I'm just going to pick like, I don't know, blue. And like, so you just like, there's my lines, my bumps on my number line type thing. Um, so if you see like this was my student number talk so one of the students explained it using like number sentences so I just talked it out or typed it out for them and then right beside it I modeled it like with with a number line and then you know for the next answer I just go over and I change the color and that just helps to keep like the the learning areas different type thing sure. yeah um, and so at the top there sorry Pam so I was going to say yesterday we were talking about so I was asking about doing some coding and like where to do this. And we were really excited to see the background. Like if you- Yeah, you can change your background. Forward. Yeah, it could be like a grid page. So yep. we're looking at the grid and we're like, oh, that's pretty tiny. And then we discovered we can make that grid bigger. Like so um, on the magnify thing. So if you put that in- then Oh, the here, switch. yeah. Yeah, so make the, the grid bigger when you're starting. So that- we were starting with just the grid. So if we were starting, we wanted a bigger grid mm -hmm. to do some movement around it. So it would seem quite flexible. I love like if you've got skills in smart board notebook, this is pretty transferable too. Yeah, yeah and that's true. In a classroom, if I was a big whiteboard fan. So if in a classroom mm -hmm. you use the whiteboard, like this is the tool for you because you can just do everything on it. And so at the top, what I was gonna say where it says one slash five, yep. like this is. So this is my slides. Um, so I have five slides in here now. Um, so I just kind of scroll to the side and see this is the work we did today. I had some small group meetings after we finished today where we worked on some strategies. So I just kind of did it all in the same place. But if I add this plus sign here, it just inserts a page wherever I need it to insert, um, which is super handy. So if you, by the end of the week, this whole jam will be filled with different days worth of number talks. And then either I label it by the week, which is this one, or in, in the previous 2020, I was labeling it by like the strategy we were working on. So when we were doing adding up, like I was putting it all in there just for my organizational purposes. Mm -hmm. And then, so do you have to save this? Like I see it's in Google, so it must save. It automatically mm -hmm. saves, yeah, everything. Mm -hmm. So, which is super handy. So if I go out, like you'll see all my jams and there's just like pages and pages and pages of jams. And it's just it's so easy to flip over to as well. Mm -hmm. And it is in your waffle. So if you are, you know, in your slides, you're like, oh, I forgot to link it or whatever. It's it's just, you click your waffle and um, sorry, you guys like faces are in the way of my waffle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just in there. So mm -hmm. you can just yeah. click over to it real fast and yeah. then you share it. So same thing, like I said mm -hmm. before, Carla and I plan everything. So whenever, like she made the morning meetings this week. So she just goes into it and then she um, shares it with me, just like you would with any other Google document. So um, there. And then I guess the link down there where it says copy link. That's where I get my link. So that's great. So we've got teachers thinking like I'm getting number talks, like it's a, a good part of our day. I wanna keep doing that. So this is the how you might do that. Yeah. But I'm I bet you there's lots of people will look at a jam board and go like, oh, I can do some art things on there or uh, we can do some writing activities. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anything like I had a student teacher in December and he did like um, science uh, comparison charts in Jamboard and he like he, anything. Yeah. 
Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Stan Sam, you mentioned about your small groups. How did, how you taking that, like, how are you managing that? Yeah. So that's a big, that's a big ask Kelly. Okay. <laughs> um, so I thought it, I had it all figured out today. Yeah. And then it just, then, then of course the internet crashed in all yeah. of Ontario. So I was, <laughs> it I mean, didn't work well. <laughs> kudos to you for trying it already because yeah. that's a big thing. Um, and um, yeah, so it took me a while to get to that. I'll be honest for sure. Um, not that I'm saying don't do it. I'm just saying don't feel overwhelmed because it's a, it's a definitely a big thing. Um, but I have a couple things I do. So I do have a separate meet set up in my Google calendar. So I'm going to go to my Google calendar here and I've set up, oh, I need to move your guys' faces there. I set up my, um, meet. So I have like my everyday Mrs. Van Hoos grade three class. I have a yeah. math game meet and a guided reading meet. Um, so I, I've tried a couple things. I have given them the link ahead of time and posted it. But what I find easiest is when we're in the Google Meet, I literally just post that that link in the chat box. And then whoever okay. I want to meet just leaves my meet and goes to that meet. Okay. And uh, managing both meets at so so I did do that today. Like I used my my kids use Seesaw, but we do because I'm a three four, we do have um, a Google Classroom account going for certain things because it the the assistive tech is good for some of my students on that. So I just mm -hmm. link everything into Seesaw, mm -hmm. but I have a Google Classroom account that links into Seesaw. Mm -hmm. so you have that banner that's set up, that banner meet code. Mm -hmm. I've done in, in calendar what we were instructed to do and each day has my calendar link. But today I had a student join me in that banner link. So I took that and hyperlinked it into my Bitmoji classroom, like the picture of me takes them to a different meet, mm -hmm. which I was very clever. In the mm -hmm, morning, for sure. mm -hmm. afternoon, it did work with just one, one student. Um, so that, that worked for me today, but so I don't know, I guess I'm looking for the easiest way to be able to do all groups. So I'm wondering if it would just be smart for this week to just have one spot where they go for help. And I would say yes, for sure. Okay. Don't over, like, I love your enthusiasm for sure, but I would one spot where you go for help. Okay. And, and that took a bit of a learning curve too, because if it's, if I'm using it for guided reading, so the rest of my class is working on, I've laid out very clearly like this, 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 and I'm sure. still, still in that Google me and I'm on mute there. And my slide is up to show what, what they're doing. And then I'm also in the other meet with uh -huh. my sound on, right? So okay. I can hear what's happening and see what's happening to both. But it's it's definitely a process. The students then also need to learn how to like leave the one to go in the other. Otherwise they get all kinds of feedback or they can hear what's happening in the one meet over the other. Um, uh, okay. And I think that was probably the nice thing today because this afternoon it did work because number one, I, I chose a student who's very capable with technology. Yeah try it with and number two um it just um it was only one person that was joining me yeah uh, that was a little bit so maybe i'll just start really small with that then because i did find it a bit overwhelming to try to because i already have two screens going because one of them i'm presenting on it anyways I'm, yeah it, it's I a, for sure it. it's 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 for sure a thing 100 i have three devices in a day like i and I yeah. need them. I, I, I do. It does get a little easier, but I also use my asynchronous time. Like today, when I said I met with kids, I met with them in my asynchronous time so that oh, the rest okay. of the class was out of our meet. They were okay. off doing their thing. And I had three kids stay behind and we just did our own mini number talk there. So they didn't okay. even have to join another meet. They just stayed in our existing one. And I just worked with okay. them there. That's nice. Now, I think I'm, I don't, I don't think I'm managing an asynchronous time. Well, at least I don't think I did that well today. Um, <laughs> it's day like one. Our, yeah, you're, you're I mean, you're crushing it. You're here. You're already talking about things that took me months to get to. So I know, I, but I'm, I'm, I'm here because the bell, like our, we go to, we went to bell time today. So we went until 315. So I'm yeah. here after the final students left after asking their. Yeah. Questions. And that's where it's different for us in the virtual world. Our prep is in our, like, we don't have um, prep the same way like we do have friends okay. that only have it two mornings a week um okay so then i have prep in the third block which is like our asynchronous time and, and that might be nice <laughs> yeah compared to this right <laughs> this is just jumping in and out and and our road teachers this like right now just for ease they're using the same link so mm -hmm. I feel, i'm kind of always sitting in that link all day long yeah um, mm -hmm. so it's, um but i mean like you said it's day one i need to take a break 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you need to applaud yourself. Is what you need to do. For sure. Yeah. You're doing great, obviously. Goodness. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely, it's definitely surreal. It really is. Like yeah. and all of my students, but two were on today. So like they're all <laughs> surreal to see them jumping in. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, it's, That's it's, a victory it's in itself cool. right there. Yeah. Cool. It is yeah. crazy how fast the kids adapt to it too. And how, yes. how yeah. similar it can be to classroom teaching. And I think I, I had my hesitations about it in September when I thought I was going to be a virtual teacher all year. And I, I was really going to miss teaching. And then yes. once you get into it, you realize like it can be so similar and mm -hmm. there's a lot okay. of things you can like set up just the same and really, yeah. Okay. That's good to know. One last question I have for you mm -hmm. that I'm doing it um, on a daily basis is your lunchtime period. So my question is revolving around that kind of unsupervised time and how you mm -hmm. handle it in the best practice. I know Carla, I think you talked to, or someone talked to me yesterday about how they did it, but now that I've seen it kind of go down today, um, mm -hmm. I wanted to get some best practice there. For example, when my internet went down, because Kojiko is my provider, some of my students still had internet. So by the time I popped back in an hour later, which was through nutrition break, so I didn't miss a lot of instructional time, but those kids were still there and mm. they don't have the norm set up. I wasn't supervising that hour. I have no idea. I'm sure they were fine, mm -hmm. but they might not have been. Right? I'll let Carla talk to this one because her chat room's always bumping in lunch hour and mine are always off doing their thing. Yeah. So <laughs> I have, I have like six kids that will stay on through lunch and just like talk to each other. And there's six kids whose families are friends and they, okay. they, um, I mean, I don't have any concerns about what they're doing on there anyways, because they're such a sweet group. Um, but I did send out an email to parents like at the start of the year and I said, this is our lunchtime. And so I'm not on there to supervise it. So if you have concerns for your kid about being on there unsupervised, don't let them on on these. Um, okay. But, and because I, I guess I like the thing I like is I, I have run, I'm running a slide deck as well. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there's a timer on it, which so yep. for my kids, they're young to be able to monitor time on their own. So this way, if the screen's running in the background during their lunch break, they're watching that they time cut yeah. down. And so I, also, I don't really want to disconnect the call. Yeah. I time. also feel like even if I disconnected the call, it would, the meet stays open. Like it's, but, a, it's a recurring. If you, but Carla, if you click the quick access, they can't get back in without, without telling okay. they're coming. Right. So then that wouldn't be a concern. They, they yeah. would allow back in if I happen to be away from my computer. Right. Okay. Yeah, I did. I, I remember I had those concerns too at the start of the year and I had asked our virtual principal and your principal might feel differently about it. But he said that um, that is like their socialization time and it's just like recess, like no one's monitoring them at recess super close. Okay. To uh, I just I wondered if this, I guess, and maybe it's a message for a uh, question for Pam too, like more of a program question is that I, I guess my only concern is I've set up that link. Am I, it's not like recess in that way. It's, it's me. Mm -hmm. set, so parents, right. Right. A, a, a teacher directed link. My concern is always liability. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's always true. And if you're concerned about it, like then I would turn off the link and yeah. like close the link out and like we're coming back and um, you just start it when the session's up. Like that's totally allowable too, right? It's about, okay. Um, because, you know, if they figured out how to get into it this morning, they can figure out how to get into it in the afternoon too. Sure, sure, sure. I love your idea about that the second Google Meet though, like in the chat. I thought that was a really interesting way of doing that. So it's a, a place where you're doing that. And I was thinking about how can you gamify that? And it's just like, if you were playing a game and you say, okay, so you won something, go click on the Google Meet group and go in there and you win a prize like that. <laughs> you know, go pick it up and come back. Tell us what your prize was or. You we know, use that all the time. Sam and I often combine our classes too, and we'll have all of our kids in one meet with the both of us. Um, and they've gotten pretty good at if we put one person's link in the chat box, all of them can find their way over there. And some yeah. of my kids have even got, like we do it, I don't know, once a week. And some of my kids have even been like, I'm just going to star Mrs. Van Hoof's meet so I can just, I don't even need the link. I'll just sit there <laughs> in my school bar. Like they're so yeah. savvy. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, what do you mean star? Yeah, you how do you know that is? What does that mean? <laughs> yes. Share your screen and show me. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Did mm -hmm. we answer your question, Kelly, about like the groups and stuff? 
Is that absolutely okay? Yep. All Thank right. you so much, ladies. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, Sam, I have a question about your slide deck. Yes. Oh, um, yeah, I didn't finish. I'm yeah. Finish. So just like it's very visually attractive, but like as far as it's clean too. Like I know it's a simple message. You're not trying to do something on every no everything it's, on one slide, which suits me as a learner. I, yeah. I like that. Um, but is this one deck you make a brand new deck every day? Yes. Or, okay. And yeah. are you, and that's but just, we, do, work? Yeah. we do kind of make a copy of that. So you're not starting from scratch and okay. a lot of it will stay the same. Like, yeah. You know, never talk slide. The same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do so you guys have virtual looks, announcements on there? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right here. This is my announcement slide. So oh, okay. You, yeah, you click it and it brings it to the, as again, it's, it's got a link, it brings you right to the slides. But yeah, like Carla said, we, we make a copy. So I every new week I copy last week's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If Google could come up with a faster way of doing that, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. um, and then we just tweak it, you know, mm -hmm. as needed um, and mm -hmm. change the links as needed or whatever. Um, but once you build the framework, then, then yeah, you have it. And it's, like you said, Pam, it's very like, very prescribed, like, and this is the one thing Carla and I both learned is like small chunks. It's, it's mm -hmm. you cannot get through what you get through in a normal classroom. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's very small and prescribed. And like, it's, this is what my break slide looks like. It oh, even looks like there's right like there. not a lot of writing on them. Yes. Right. Yes. Because that's just too much to even like, look who's at. your audience? Grade yeah. three kids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And like, I also try like one of the things I learned today, sorry, I just got signed out and I wanted to show you, I don't know how I got signed out, but I wanted to show you something because today as a mom at home uh, and my, my mom was here helping my kids, um, my SK daughter like closed her meet and was like, I'm done. And my mom was like, what, what, what do you mean you're done? Like you're, it's nine 30. How are you done? Yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. so I got back on the meet and I asked the teacher, I was like, can you maybe tell us like what's happening? Cause my daughter seems to think she's done for the day. <laughs> and so one of the things I find really helpful for parents too, is can you write on the slide what's happening right now? So that if they're trying to support their kid, especially in grade three, like, you know, mom or dad doesn't know what's going on. Okay, but look at the slide, it's break time. It's break time until 10.30. Okay, great. So then I just leave this up during break time so that anyone can see what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. And then, so at, at any point in time, like if a parent pops on, it's like, oh, okay, like this is this is what's happening right now. Or, you know, a student right. who got kicked out and comes back in, like they can see like, oh, this is what we're doing. So I don't need to like raise my hand in the middle of a lesson and be like, what's happening? Yeah. So Sam, how long was it until you guys figured out you kind of needed like slides to guide your day? Day one. Yeah. <laughs> like, feel okay. like that was a first for okay. us. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Because we were just thinking like, how are you visually mm -hmm. going to show mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. again, another example, like my daughter's teacher today, they were breaking for um, lunch and she was trying to tell the kids what time to come back. Mm -hmm. And she, she had like a notebook and she was writing on it and she flashed it on the screen for them. And it just said like the time on it. But I thought like, you know, what if your kid's in the washroom or what, like they yeah. need something that stays up that can show them. Or me, what time did I tell the children to come back? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? like, yeah. So, and if you see like in our math here, like this is our math, it's a three part lesson every day. It's very basic. Like here's your minds on, it's click, it's linked to a Jamboard. Here's your, um, Pam will love this. Here's your learning goal. Yeah. Your link to your Jamboard. Here's, and this is what we, we always replicate this for them. This means it's your turn. You go to Seesaw and you do your activity. And at the bottom there, it says like, okay, if you're done early, come back, tell, tell us you're done, but then you play Prodigy until this time. And so it's very like, this is what you're doing. And then this is what you're doing, but it's not a ton of stuff. It's just like, this is literally just a screenshot of the Seesaw activity. So they know, okay, I'm doing my Seesaw activity now. Yeah. So great. It also cuts down, I think, too, because like having a bunch of kids in my house today, too, I felt like they thought that the teacher was at their beck and call all day yeah. long. Mm -hmm. And so they were just <laughs> chirping in like she's here to help. She's here to help. And I know that that's like that's a lot. So um, they it helps them know like what they're supposed to be doing. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that oh, they yeah. don't always have to like chime back in there because that mm -hmm. might can be deadly for sure. 
Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, there was a few today, right? The internet yeah. wasn't great and they come back and like mm-hmm. one one is still working on her problem solving skills, you know, and she's the first to come off mic and say, I got kicked out and let in the store. And I'm like, I know it's, this yeah. is okay. This is, yeah. this is look at the screen. And this is exactly what I said to her. Yeah. Look at the screen. What does it tell you we're working on right now? And she's yeah. like, oh, okay. <laughs> so well, and I even <laughs> thought about that norm that probably you guys have already set up. Like if, if your kid, if you, they get kicked out and come back in, it's not like they, hello, I'm back. Yeah. You know? and <laughs> that's what my kid did today. And I was like, no, shh, they know you're here. I see your picture. <laughs> so it's like when they go to the bathroom at school and then they come back in and slam the door, it's like, welcome. And yeah. <laughs> so I think that those little things, right. They take time, but they, they are do. valuable for sure. Yeah. And we talk about going slow and, um, you know, making sure kids understand their expectations. Like this might be your little shared reading activity that you do. Like, we're going to take a break for lunch. Can I have somebody read this to us? And like any questions. I was just going to say, I always get the kids. Part of the reason we make the slides so short and like simple is so that the kids can read them. Because a lot Mm -hmm. of times I don't get to hear every kid read every week the way that you would in a classroom unless you're meeting them all in these small groups so Mm -hmm. having like really simple slides and getting to hear them all um especially because they're kids that we didn't know at all in september um Mm -hmm. super helpful Mm -hmm. yeah good point make them work harder than you (laughs) 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 yes exactly Thank you, Sam, for sharing yes, your slides. No problem. Let was me, there anything um, else you thought worthy of um, adding on here? Um, Just looking at the time, I know we have about a few minutes left. Yeah, no, I'm. Um, it's it's pretty much the same, it follows the same format every all day, so mm-hmm. I wouldn't say mm-hmm. there's anything different there. Mm-hmm. But that being said, like if you ever want anything we do, Kelly or anyone else listening, Rebecca, like we're happy to share. So like, just let us know. Or if you have a question about how we run something, like just ask, we're happy to share. How about, a resource, how about a resource for art virtually? Okay, so- Tomorrow I have art. <laughs> we love art. Yeah, art is our, our savior because okay. we don't get a ton of prep in the day. Okay. Um, so, and, and we don't get a lot, we, Carla and I were really like, language math, language math, like we, we hammer that in. Um, so we're like, yes, it's our day. So <laughs> yeah, it's like a fun break. Um, so Carla actually got me hooked on these, like, and the kids are obsessed right now. These like, what's it called again? Corrected drawing. Yes. Corrected drawings. Okay. I can totally do that with them. They would love that. They, they love it. And I yeah. nice, do you have a source for that you use or you just, you just go um, on? There's a YouTube one called art hub for kids. Art hub for kids. Or okay. there's one called Draw So Cute. They're yeah, I was gonna say they draw so. Cute. Or what's that one with the dad and the son? I think that's. Oh, art I've done that okay. one before. Okay, yeah. And so it's nice because okay. you can pause it, and they they just listen to the guy talk, and you can pause it. Okay. And then they're so cute. They like hold up their drawings, and they like show you. Okay. Yeah. And then you can keep going. So I find the videos are about ten minutes, but they take thirty to yeah. get through and. and, draw on and and that way they don't need a, they don't need resources. Like that's my concern. I don't want to ask yeah. it. To get yeah, it. They, they don't need don't paint and them. pastels and ruler. Right. They, just need paper. So they can do that drawing on anything they have. Yeah. Line yeah. paper, I think paper, so. pencils, whatever. Okay. Some people were um, being inspired by the kindergarten loose parts, kind of like go gather like pieces, like from nature, your Lego. Okay. We did try that also. Yeah, and do loose part or not, didn't go so well. Yeah. It's a bit yeah. of a flop. It was a little too loose. It's you know what it 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 it's your audience. Like some of ours were like, I yes. can't even go outside to collect materials. And we we're like, hmm, okay. Right. Yeah. So it's like we were Rice I think we did a, yeah. a leaf thing. Was it like fall leaves or something? Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. Um it was fun, but it was they were was jazzed so with the drawing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think Is, too if you send them away. Yeah. Sorry. If you send them away, then they take forever to come back. Yeah. 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 And that could be the asynchronous thing. Tomorrow, you're going to be doing an art activity with loose parts kind of things. Today, time, go find some stuff and um, be part of DPA. Yeah. Um, Mm. Mo Williams, too. Does he have something on? He's like the the pigeon. Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. He used to impede the cat as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On uh, YouTube. Just it's fun. Okay. 
but yeah, you totally could set up the, um, the, the loose parts thing the day before. So they know it's coming. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Think mm -hmm. about it too. We sent some reminders to NC saw to the families and the kids about like, these are some ideas of things you could gather. Okay. We're going to do it this day. So I think it was being, the being prepared piece was where I think ours struggled a bit, but mm -hmm. okay. Rebecca, did you have a question or something to share? I was just going to ask, it was on the topic of asynchronous learning. Um, how have you guys been structuring your asynchronous learning, like mostly for like unfinished work, but do you have like a system for asynchronous learning? Um, on Mondays, we post like words of the week for their asynchronous okay. learning to practice them. Okay. Um, some days it's just, we give them like scavenger hunts. It's, some days we use it for, some days it's our prep, so we don't. Yeah. Um, a lot of the days too it depends on what's happening that day yeah. Like yeah today i saw there was a major need with like four kids so i was like okay at 150 u4 and they're like i have to ask my mom and i'm like no because you're like supposed to be <laughs> you're yeah. in school but fine <laughs> go yeah. ask your mom um and um and then i just say like we need to meet and that and then that just changes or yeah, it depends. It kind of fly by the seat of your pants, depending on just like in a class, like what you see yeah. is needed. I've, I've been doing choice boards this week, like math, language, art, um, STEM. Um, and that's what Sam did before as well. But I'm just curious about what, what people's. Oh, you're right thinking more about what kids are doing. Sorry, I thought yes. you meant what are you you doing in your. Oh, OK, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's OK. Yeah, we do the spelling words and then. Um, I think I feel like we, yeah, like a bunch of different random things. Yeah, okay. they they often have work to to finish that they have yeah. not yet finished. Um, that kind of thing. I also don't like overdo it. Yeah. I'll be honest, because they've like in a day with us, they do a ton. Like if yeah. you see like what's scheduled, like it's so it's, it's a lot. Like, yeah, yeah, it is a lot. And some of them, some of them zip through it and are always done super fast. And some have like seven still to finish so i'm yeah. like finish your work yeah. yeah all right thank you yeah well thank you for uh joining us today ladies and gents um it was great sharing and good to see some people we haven't seen in a while it's good Hope yeah you. and i think and actually even though there wasn't a ton of people here like for it to be recorded and people to watch later, there was some really valuable stuff that you shared that I think um, is easy to follow and people will find that super useful. So yeah, thanks think, so much. Is yeah, this happening so tomorrow and for the week at three o'clock? Yeah. Just okay. tomorrow and Thursday, not Friday. Okay, awesome. yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, perfect. Yeah, so come back if you want, Rebecca, for yeah. sure. Yeah. I'm sure you have some things that More you'd questions. like to add into. Yeah. Bring a yes. friend. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much, everyone. Yeah, yeah. thanks a lot, okay. I'll see you girls. Bye. Bye everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.